a veto power, general rule, all bills must be approved by the president before they become law. Exceptions. When the veto of the president is overridden by members of each house of the Congress, the president returns the bill with his veto message to the house where the bill originated, which shall then enter the objections at large in its journal and proceed to reconsider it. If, after such reconsideration, two-thirds of all the members of such house shall agree to pass the bill, it shall be sent, together with the objections, to the other house by which it shall likewise be reconsidered, and if approved by two-thirds of all the members of that house, it shall become a law. b. The bill lapsed into law because of the President's failure to act on the bill within 30-30 days, and c. The bill passed is the special law to elect the President and Vice President. Limitations to the veto power. The President may only veto bills as a whole. General veto. Exceptions. Appropriation bill, revenue bill, and tariff bill. President can exercise item veto. J. Residual power. Section 20. Residual powers. Dot. Unless Congress provides otherwise, the President shall exercise such other powers and functions vested in the President which are provided for under the laws and which are not specifically enumerated above, or which are not delegated by the President in accordance with law. The President shall have control of all the executive departments, bureaus, and offices. He shall ensure that the laws be faithfully executed. Residual power is the President's power and duty to do anything not forbidden by the Constitution or the laws to protect the general welfare of the people. The President's power to conduct investigations, e.g., via fact-finding commissions, to aid him in ensuring the faithful execution of laws is inherent in the President's powers as the Chief Executive. The powers of the President cannot be said to be limited only to the specific powers enumerated in the Constitution. In other words, executive power is more than the sum of specific powers so enumerated. The residual unstated powers of the President are implicit in and correlative to the paramount duty residing in that office to safeguard and protect general welfare. In MUAP v. Romulo, GR No. 160093, 2007, the Court upheld the reorganization of the DOH through EO 102 and 1165, as it was within the President's residual power to restructure the executive departments since he has the power of control over executive departments granted by the Constitution. The power to create ad hoc bodies is a residual power vested in the President in accordance with Faithful Execution Clause. K. Removal from Office. Section 2. The President, the Vice President, the members of the Supreme Court, the members of the Constitutional Commissions, and the Ombudsman may be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of culpable violation of the Constitution, treason, bribery, graft and corruption, other high crimes or betrayal of public trust. All other public officers and employees may be removed from office as provided by law, but not by impeachment. The President may be removed from office only through impeachment for and conviction of culpable violation of the Constitution, treason, bribery, graft and corruption, other high crimes, or betrayal of public trust. The list is exclusive. L. Rules of Succession In cases where the Constitution provides that an official shall act as president, such acting president does not become president as he, she does not succeed to the office. Rules of Succession In case of vacancy before the president's term, the following rules apply. If the president-elect fails to qualify, the vice president-elect shall act as president until the president-elect shall have qualified. If a president shall not have been chosen, the vice president-elect shall act as president until a president shall have been chosen and qualified. If the president-elect shall have died or shall have become permanently disabled, the vice president-elect shall become the president. If no president and vice president have been chosen or no president and vice president shall have qualified, or if both president and vice president died, or both president and vice president permanently disabled. Senate president or, in case of his inability, the House Speaker shall act as president until a president or a vice president shall have been chosen and qualified. In case of vacancy during the president's incumbency, the following rules apply. In case of death or 
permanent disability, or removal from office or resignation of the president, the vice president shall become the president to serve the unexpired term. In case of death or permanent disability, or removal from office or resignation of both the president and vice president, the Senate president or, in case of his inability, the Speaker of the House shall act as president, only until a president or a vice president shall have been elected and qualified. In cases of temporary vacancy, the following rules apply. If president submits a voluntary written declaration that he is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office, the vice president as acting president until the president transmits to the Senate president and House Speaker a written declaration to the contrary. If there is a declaration by majority of all the members of the cabinet that the president is unable to discharge his powers and duties, he first written declaration. The vice president as acting president until the president transmits to the Senate president and House Speaker a written declaration that no inability exists. Notwithstanding the president's contrary declaration, should a majority of all the members of the cabinet declares that the president is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office, Congress shall decide the issue. If there is a determination by Congress by two-thirds vote of all members, voting separately, acting on the second written declaration by majority of the cabinet, and deciding that the president is unable to discharge his powers and duties, the vice president serves as acting president. Otherwise, the president shall continue exercising his powers and duties. The following rules shall apply if both Senate President and Speaker are not capable to act as President. If there is vacancy before the President's term, the Congress shall, by law, provide for the manner of selecting the one who will act as President until President or Vice President have either been chosen and qualified pursuant to special elections. If there is vacancy during the President's incumbency, the Congress shall, by law, Provide who will be the acting president until a president or a vice president have either been elected and qualified pursuant to special elections. However, the Congress has yet to pass a law providing for such manner of selection. Vice Presidential Succession Lastly, whenever there is a vacancy in the office of the vice president during the term for which he was elected, the president shall nominate a vice president from among the members of the Senate and the House of Representatives who shall assume office upon confirmation by a majority vote of all the members of both houses of the Congress, voting separately. Absolute Majority